Hey YouTube modeling community, this is the moderate modeler coming from the Ruby Custom Auto and Cycle Garage. Uh, it's been a while since I did a vid, vid but on this one uh, I'm going to have to uh, drop out of the Dr. Cranky calendar build. Uh, I, res I am getting a lot of work in the shop here. Uh, I've got a, a 1961 limo from England. Uh, they call it the Princess. I got some frame uh, repair on that to do, and I've got two two bikes that are coming. One for full paint job, and another one with a extended the ta extend tanks. Uh, put the big saddle bags with a, a back fender on the back and a 200 wide tire on the rear of it. So uh, I'm pretty well covered up, and I've got the day job working at a. A and B vintage uh, auto and cycle restoration shop. Uh, so I'm really busy and I'm trying to get uh, some bench time as much as I can. So I know I've I wouldn't be able to finish the Dr. Cranky calendar build one. So I am withdrawing from that. I will be doing the dream contest uh, from Badass Canadian and a couple other things so further ado I'll show you what's on the bench all right uh, here we go uh, this is uh, the Omni the 81 uh, sanding down the body getting that done uh, the frame in the cage it's all painted rear ends in it with the slicks the Goodyear slicks and the front tires, uh, the motor is just about done. As you can see, I got it. Uh, got all the fuel lines ran on it. The holes for the making the headers, uh, and then I've got all the heads drilled out for for the wires. So I get that. I will be finishing these up, but it'll just take a while. Uh, there's the Woody, uh, the the tow vehicle for the Omni, and uh, the trailer's in the back over there. Uh, and then my uh, collaboration build with uh, Chaz out in California, Chaz Customs. Uh, I'm getting headway on that. I've got the rear end mounted in it. Uh, I've got one of the doors cut out, opens up suicide. The door panel in it. And I'll give you a quick look underneath. Uh, I went with a ladder bar coilover system. I uh, ran the brake lines. That's the Silvo line going up, is the brake line. And then I've got, you can see the copper line going down there, and that's the gas line running up front. Uh, I'm going to have it in a rolling chassis, and uh, Chaz will put the motor together and do the interior and then it comes back and then I'll paint that. Uh, my Chevy Cheeseburger Challenge build. Uh, this is uh, the 32. Actually that's the original one that was built in the 80's. Uh, the Gasser. Uh, the, my uh, uh, wheelie bar building uh, was pretty crude back then. But uh, basically that's what I have there when I did that. And this is my new one that I'm doing. This time around I'm doing the full fenders. Uh, I built a pair of wheelie bars and, uh, and used the chrome paint on it. I made up the little wheels on the ends. Uh, I got the Goodyear Eagle Slicks. Uh, I cut the doors out, cut the trunk out. Uh, this is the motor I'll be using. It's, uh, I'm trying to remember what model it came out of, but it's a, a overhead cam motor. Uh, as you can see, uh, right, there's one of the pulleys for the cam, and there's the other pulley there, and it'll run off the bottom crank pulley. Uh, there's my uh, injector 
pump. I'll be doing uh, injectors. I'll run the lines with the tubes. And uh, I still haven't decided what color I'm going to do that. So that's that. And then my Dream Ride contest, which is a 68 Firebird. I've done the entry on that. I got the door, the trunk cut out. Uh, I've got the bottom pan done uh, right here. I uh, used the back half out of uh, the 66 Nova. I've got probably about five or six of them. So I just use that for different kits and stuff like that. So I've got that. Uh, I will be using uh, the rear end. And these are the wheels that will be on that. Set of those with the front ones to match. And uh, when I was working on this stuff, I my mind drifts sometimes, and my eye caught one of the models up up in the stash, and it was the modern Batmobile. And uh, I just decided if I pull that down, uh, I've got uh, Pro Street tires in the back, the rear end. Uh, Decided to put a full roof on it. Uh, that's off of one of the funny cars that I had around. Uh, and the motor I bought probably four years ago. It's a fully detailed, uh, blown uh, top fuel motor. Uh, I put it together. I was going to be putting it in a Camaro, and I kind of lost interest in the in that build. That's sitting somewhere. But the motor I set in. Uh, in the parts box and it just as you can see it fits very nicely in there so I'll be using that to cut off the front nose and I'll put the nose on and then I'll have it tilt up and so that's what I have on the bench and uh, I appreciate all you guys uh, new subscribers and uh, watching the vids uh, and thank you. I never thought that I'd have this many subscribers and people wanting to see what I do. Uh, it's pretty much I build what uh, just comes in my head. I just I love it, you know. Uh, and I do it with one to ones too. So, but uh, not exotic like the Batmobile. But I've done a bunch of street rides, uh, drag cars, uh, muscle cars. So. That's about it, guys. Uh, appreciate everything. And this is the moderate modeler from the Ruby Custom Auto and Cycle Garage signing out.